When we see the numbers go up, that's reason for concern and reason for bringing more resources down here. Tonight, more people are living along the San Diego River since San Diego's encampment ban took effect. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us on this Friday. I'm Marcella Lee. Today, CBS 8 Shannon Handy went to see the situation for herself. She breaks down the new numbers ahead of next week's point in time count. Shannon. The San Diego River Park Foundation does surveys twice a week along the San Diego River. Before the encampment ban, they counted 90 encampments here. Today, there are 124. Sarah Hupmacher spends a lot of time walking along the San Diego River. As chief operating officer of the San Diego River Park Foundation, she's often out here cleaning up trash, educating the public, and talking with those experiencing homelessness. We envision a better future for the San Diego River. A future that could be in jeopardy as more and more people move in. Over the course of this last year, the numbers have been creeping up slowly. Sarah and her team have collected data along the San Diego River for years. The purple dots on this map show the homeless encampments they've recently counted stretching from Santee to the ocean. There are 124, each one representing between one and multiple people. It's a 30% jump compared to just five months ago before the city of San Diego started enforcing its encampment ban. This isn't the first time that we have seen a change in the number of encampments in the riverbed around the same timing as a change in enforcement or other patterns in other parts of the city. We've seen an uptick in encampments around the All-Star Game in 2016. We saw an uptick in encampments around the Hep A outbreak in 2017. What it really shows is that this is just a super related system. Despite the increase, Sarah says the foundation can't make a direct connection between the two since people call the area home for various reasons. So I traverse the riverbed with Sarah today in hopes of finding someone willing to give me a first-hand perspective I saw a lot of tents in the distance, making certain encampments tough to get to. Eventually, I met Chase, who says the encampment ban has a lot to do with why he's here. Do you prefer to be down here because of the encampment ban? Exactly, yeah. I prefer to be down here because the cops aren't going to come down here and like write me a citation. Have you seen more people come down here? Yeah, I see people come down here daily, like more and more each day. Sarah says it's a concern for several reasons. For starters, it's not a safe place for people to live, especially when it rains. There's also other issues, including added pollution and fire danger. On Thursday, the foundation will lead a group of volunteers to get up-to-date numbers as part of the annual point-in-time count. The federally mandated census, which will cover the entire county, is designed to quantify the overall homeless population to secure funding and understand what the needs are. It's important for us to make sure that these areas of the riverbed are part of the conversation when folks are making investments in providing resources and housing. If you'd like to volunteer to help with the point in time count next week, just log on to CBS8.com and click on this story. For CBS8, I'm Shannon Handy.